I was going to talk to you guys about what we're doing next, but I just got horribly distracted by Ike's armory. And feel this need to approach it and buy stuff from it. Uh, this is why consumerism is bad. Look, I'm, I'm inching towards the counter as we speak. Ike, I'm presuming. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? No, I don't. Maybe it's a bit well, secondhand, uh... but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. Oh, no, 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 no. repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Mind you... That's actually not a bad idea. But, but, that's why I have my crew members with me. They are the ones that are going to be sent out in waves against the uh, borders, which, you know, hopefully I'm I'm going to avoid getting boarded in the first place, but hey. Um, yes. Are you a spacer yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked at Erdanos, indentured to the corporations. Uh-huh. Uh, go on. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Hmm. Okay, let's see what you've got for sale. He wasn't lying. A wide variety of melee weapons and some armor. Most of it not that good. Hmm. Right controlled standard trooper, advanced defensive, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. water resistant wear, casual ports of call, crew outfit, ports of call, it's workers outfit spaces, choice. Water resistant. Mm. I don't know because actually, what about this standard trooper? Oh, yeah, standard trooper isn't that great. So none of this is really that great. Though I do like the look of some of these weapons. You know, they're not bad. Um. I can repair stuff, like, with with bits as well. I need to remember that. Anyways, um... Do I not have any junk? No, I do not. Hmm. Well, in that case... I should probably sell... Like a load of this stuff that I'm not gonna use. Hmm. Yeah, right. I don't know. Okay, let's let's leave this be for now. You. I really don't have a large... Uh, okay, personal space mean anything to you two? Um, yeah, they really don't have a lot to sell. Spratwurst. No, thank you. She had an ambush set up on Hephaestus. The pirates came in to dump a bunch of loot on some broker they work with. Whose loyalty did Fuller buy to spring the ambush? Very adventure serial. They catch the pirates? No, they blew the fucking dock up. Punched the hole in the ceiling and got blasted out into space. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Their front looks Hello. On the up and up. You Hello. Okay, let's not look at someone else's messages. Um, I reckon we can, you know. With a high enough price and with enough cash, you can step lightly, Miss Holcomb. Uh, I'm not winded. Oh, my uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. 
Are you... Are you alright? Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Um... Hello? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping. A legitimate business for legitimate consumers. So... Flying the unreliable? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the name's Captain Jeffrey. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. So you're a sublight employee? Sure am. A few years back they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Right. Sure you do. Now, um, if they have to tell you that it's a legitimate business for legitimate customers, that probably means it's the other way around. However, Apparently, I'm expected. So Hello. you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. It saves me the work of hunting you down. Um, Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Um, name's Jeffrey, captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's sure nice to see the Unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Oh. Um, Hawthorne? Never heard of him. Don't let Ada hear you calling her ship names. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But... There's what do you exactly mean, reliable set of wings? I'm captain of the unreliable, not you the reliable. You have to Stellar Bay. The job's yours. Interested? Hmm. I don't have a nav key, but can I still take the job? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. Ah, yes. There's talk to her. Know about her. We'll we'll ask. Out. Yes. Time is bits. Right. Isn't sublight... I, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I take it you're not strictly a salvage operation then, right? These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. Well, you don't have much hair to... No, okay. I'm, it's a bad joke. What kind of other sectors? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Right. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. I was gonna, I was gonna Sometimes assume, like, you know, acquiring salvage that isn't yet salvage, right? And a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. You're pirates! <laughs> Wink, Good nod. Good boy. Knew you'd understand. You are Pirates! I get to be a pirate, if I want to. I get to be a pirate. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, mind you, they're mostly all, like, uncouth, unwashed, and... Uh, but, you know, it's good to have the option. Okay. Um, how organised is this business? Quotation marks across the entire thing. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids, in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Right. Hmm. You're being very open about your criminal side. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Right. So not that open about it, then. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Right. So Hawthorne was a pirate. Privateer. Smuggler. Hmm. Do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? 
No, I do not. <laughs> You're supposed to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> of course you do. Oh, children. Okay. CNP pancake mix. Now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. Disturbing, but okay. Um, again, no. Hi. So far as you know, I'm not drinking on duty. Of course, naturally. So let's go and talk to Gladys then again and uh, try and get access to the. This is Halcyon News. Sorry, I took a wrong turn. What the hell am I doing? Oh, really? Huh. Okay, never mind. We took a wrong turn, apparently. ID cartridge, that's good, that's useful. Means... We can go in here and uh, take a look around. Is there anyone I'd like to talk to? There's a door I can open. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go rob. We're gonna rob the security. Damn it! Could you not be here? Um, it's a hoop, really? Okay. Understood. I'll keep my head down. Hello. Steal everything. Steal everything. Let's go. Open this door as well. the way out. Right. Useful. Very useful. Um. Okay. So... Uh, nearly fell off. So, we just stole a bunch of stuff. From the security officers. Oh, I was just sitting here, you know, I gotta open it, come on. Ooh. A vented. what? Inspiration plus three medium armor. Yo, 
yeah, I mean, this is better in every way than, than the thing I have, right? Because this is heavy armor, and it's, yeah, it's just, just better in every way. Good. Would you like the helmet? Honestly, I really like this one on you. It just fits. Vicar Max, though, we could find you something. Oh, can I not take it off you? You really like it. You really want to keep it. You look horribly silly without the rest of it. Fine. You can keep the silly armor. It's okay. Now. I get this feeling. Don't know why. Get this feeling. Feeling I'm not supposed to be here. Protective clothing with safety harness. Dead eye assault rifle. Now, it only has six armor, but it provides a bunch of skills and has a volume of footstep radio. This is like a sneak thing, isn't it? Good God, these look cool. It adds dialogue skills. Okay, so we're using this when we're not in combat. We're using this when we're in combat. That's what we're doing. Um, mind you. Have the rest of the armor set, because you look horribly stupid without it. Okay, good. Good. Plus, I mean, just, just... It sort of fits your style, because you have a bit of a shady past, and you look like someone who would wear that on, you know, outside of his church. You, you know, that, that fits you very much, I'd say. But this sort of looks like me. I mean, this sort of screams me. Minus all the protection, but hey. Oh, I nearly forgot the most important bit. The weapon. Now, what should I call it? A dead eye assault rifle? Huh. Heavy weapon, special effect, execute. Exacto sight, post armor damage dealt plus fifteen per cent. Long gun with 99 damage. That's more than... That's more than my... Plasma rifle, and it's unmodified, so it's gonna be even more. That's almost as much as the hunting rifle. Yeah, I like this. I really, really do. Okay, so... We've managed to find... an absurd amount of things. Next to a creepy skeleton, might I add, but... you know. Gear is so bloody good, I don't care, honestly. It's just... It's just you know. So mind your feet on the way down. Right, yes, maintenance. Um, we were doing maintenance. She, she was doing maintenance. I was helping. Yes, that's, that's what happened, of course. 
In retrospect, life is fated. And unstoppable. I don't know if you remember that being like quite a leap. Uh yeah, could you not could you just just please just, just don't make me don't make me tell you to go back to the ship. Please just just stop. Um right now. We need to head down a level, I think. God, this is bringing back some awful memories from possibly a previous life, possibly a few minutes ago. I don't know. Um, right, this way, I think. And then through here-ish, yes. First of all, what do you think about the look? Second of all, I need something from you. <clears throat> Sorry, I need something from you. Or is it just my glands acting up again? No, it's the awe-inspiring visage before you. Yes. Um, Udom told me you have this official board seal. Can I buy it from you? What are you planning to do with it? Forge papers to go to Byzantium, obviously. I'll give it to its rightful owner. Forge papers to go to Byzantium, obviously. See the lights. Taking a show or two at the infamous Bijou. Could be a treat if you like that kind of thing. Yeah. All right, I'll sell it to you. But it's going to cost you dear. Oh, another thing that's going to cost me dear. 8,000 bits. I'll keep that in mind. Well, ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Yeah, never mind. Um, I've got a lovely little throw pillow. This is why consumerism is bad. I was going to say, right, let's in. not buy it, let's not buy it, and I just bought it. Honestly, that happens way more often than, than I'd like to admit, but hey. So, guys... Bad news, we're broke. Good news, look at the stuff I'm wearing, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, we're basically broke. Yes, we're looking around trash for useful things. Oh, how the mighty have fallen, I know. Now see here, I'm... What was I right. doing again? Yeah, sure. Okay, here's the thing. This is Halcyon. We need to do some work. Because we're completely and utterly broke now. Speaking of... How exactly do we go about doing that? Introduce Pavati to Ju June Lay. Sure, let's do that while I think of a way to get us more money. Specifically, we need around 18,000 bits. 8,000 for the money I just wasted, and 10,000 for the, um... I can't think from all the adverts. 10,000 for the, um... For the thing that we need from, from Gladys. Now... Must be housed on a sub level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Right. Hello! Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Right. I have a fanboy. With me, right here. No, not not fanboy of me, of you actually. Yes, I do. I'm captain of the unreliable. Um, recently unshackled from groundbreakers inbound. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Yes. Just so we sure understand each other. 
I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. At ease. Don't be that, Chief. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. I know, right? So likewise, I'm likewise. Curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Just passing through. Um. Statistics don't lie. Yeah. You see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. It's the outfit, isn't it? It's absolutely the outfit. Um, it seems kind of warm in here, though. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Right. Why haven't you fixed that yet? Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. I mean, surely they don't want the groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The right. board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. Indeed. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Guys, we found a job! We're no longer broke! I mean, we're still broke until we finish the job, but you know, we found a job! Okay. Um, the back boys. Am I supposed to know what that is? Uh, bays, even. No, not the bo- Oh god, that sounds so much worse. The back bays. Am I supposed to know what that Sorry. is? I forget, not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Oh, good, good. Can't wait to go there and show off my new stylish outfit. Yes. Um, have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Hmm. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense. But a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nah, none taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Right. Um, I'll get you those parts from the back bays, Good. not the back boys. The parts, Though the guys the in the back bays should be called the back boys. Really should. It's a great name. Most of the time. But there's one more thing, though. Sorry about the heat. Here, drink up. No excuse for dehydration on my watch. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, Parvati wanted to talk to you. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do no, for it's you? Not, not really. I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, 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 Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Go on. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Indeed! Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Yeah, we'll be on our way. This is what I work with. <sighs> Alright. Come along. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your It's like It's like story. I'm captain of a bunch of children. Right. Now, before anything else, I have some mods I can put on this thing. Now it has the exacto sight.
And if I were to put anything else on it, it would change it from the exacto site to the something else. Like this, the extendo site, which is not what I want. Magazines, on the other hand, I might want to switch around. No, let's just change the, the damage type. Okay, that's that's good, that's fine. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it. Um, don't want this either to be changed in any way, shape, or form. Good. Um, yeah, okay, we're good. Let's go. Over to... The unreliable? No, 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 no. Over to the back bays, I'm assuming. Uh, return to the unreliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that when, you know, when all is said and done. Gain access to the stellar bay. Um... Not yet, I don't think. Let's go and talk to Ellie. Because I think she'll be pleased with uh, how we've we've gone about helping her friend. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you True. what. I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Short on bits. Honestly, I think you'll fit right in. Welcome aboard. Are you saying you work for me just because I help Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. Very much so. Also but hopelessly we broke. I'm paying the favor if you prefer that version. As of a few minutes ago. Okay, yep, yeah, like I said, welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Yeah, um the Camax will Dr. head on. Glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. Yes. Yes, it will. And it'll also be good to get rid of the Kamax for a while, because honestly, I'm not sure why he's on board, but hey. Look, I was desperate. I needed crew. He, uh, he offered. Yeah, here we are now. Um, anyways, yeah. So, um... Uh, do I want to be a bit more... Text, stealth, dialogue, leadership. I think I'm on a little bit more in leadership. Possibly in long guns as well. Yeah. Let's do that. That seems reasonable. Now... Carrying capacity actually now seems a little bit more useful than than before. Um, but I think I want this more than I want anything else. Maybe sprint speed, but nah. Speed from companion kills isn't bad. Though. Now I'll just grab this. Okay. Yeah. And then we now have access to tier 2 stuff. Okay, good, glorious. Where to next? Gladys? What, why? Oh, purchase the nav key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can't do that yet. Don't have the money for it. Let's get new parts for the radiators from the back thingamajig. Um, we might actually have to fight someone for them, but that's not exactly a problem with these awesome new weapons.
Hey, McBread, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. No sudden movements. This guy's crazy, even by my standards. Guys, do you reckon we just start shooting, or...? Because, I mean, honestly, there's not that many, and they've killed a bunch of people already. What do you think? We just start shooting? There's a... There's not that many. There's really not that many, but the... the there's not that... He's got a big gun. I don't know. Hi. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Um, Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Actually, no, it's not. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Right, um... If it's nothing personal, I'll just be leaving. Yeah, you know what, um... Why don't you put that gun down before you incinerate the entire deck? I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Right, um, I'm here for some parts. June Lay sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. So I can grab the parts? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Right. Um, those parts are deadly toxins. Yes, they are. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. And asbestos Maybe is cancerous. Run. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Right. Got it. This way. Smells kind of like old Bess's help for pipes. Taste of the good stuff. I've been tripping for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy. Today is my birthday. Oh, yeah? Fuck your birthday. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? Nah. We're gonna start shooting. And, uh... It's going to be glorious. So. Hello. Yeah, it is. Um, see, most of them are on drugs. Most of them are highly uncomfortable here. I reckon we start shooting. I genuinely do. Hmm? 